Hello and welcome to a special episode of Let's Play Crusader Kings 2. Uh, this is not going to be part of my main Let's Play series, but I just wanted to spend a little bit of time highlighting a uh, specific mod I've been looking at a lot lately, and that is a uh, Game of Thrones mod for Crusader Kings. Uh, as far as I can tell, this is basically the definitive version of uh, a Game of Thrones game. I, mean, I don't know what else you'd want from such a game. Um, it's still in beta actually so you know it's only going to improve they're going to add like the new the other continent and stuff but if you like uh these novels or the show uh this is really worth checking out i mean it, it helps you get like you get even more into the pretty amazing world they made uh the author made and the books are really good so you know I, i'm a big fan of it uh, this mod lets you play as just, its its scope is almost as amazing as the original as the Crusader Kings 2 itself. And what's even more impressive about it is that they've done it with just from like knowledge from the books and maybe some like extra canon stuff. But it's pretty incredible. Like so, you know, here you start out. This is not even this is this takes place like 300 years before the books when all these kingdoms were separate. You have the Lannisters here. You have the horrors of, I don't know how you pronounce that, of uh, the Iron Islands when they had the uh, had the trident. You know, here's the guy with Heron Hall. This is King Heron. He's the guy who made it. Uh, the Vale is separated. The Stormlands. This was this was prior to the Baratheons. It's just really neat. Like you can just look at this, and you can do the exact same thing. Uh, that you can do in the regular game which is just mouse through this and you'll see like the little changes and here you know here's where the king lands so it's you know the reason that the capital of uh, Westeros which is the name of this land is King's Landing is because this guy King Aegon landed here and proceeded to conquer all of these kingdoms except for Dorne and he held those for you know the length of his reign and he did it with dragons so if you look you'll just you can just mouse through it here and you can play as any of these people you can just mouse through it you'll see he conquered everything within a year uh, Dorne remained independent for centuries but you can just and I don't know what how they did it but like you know you can be like okay here's the Starks this is the king who knelt Torin he'll eventually die and you'll play as someone I mean it's like it's, it's the same level of detail as in the actual Crusader Kings, which is based on history. So we have, like, you know, knowledge of who did this. This is so in-depth that it's equal. Like, you could play as these guys, Magnar, you know, these little counts. Um, I have been playing as an Iron Islander. Uh, I've been playing as the Black Tides, who, in my game, are much stronger than they are, really, but... Uh, in the in the thing just because I you know I'm awesome but if you look here you know the black tides is just this little island I started with just this little island and I've created this duchy the high lordship of the seastone isles this is actually my heir he's my grandson and he is in fact the black tide so my family is really strong um, and so it's just really neat like you know it's got the same crusader kings uh, sort of gameplay it's even more complicated though uh, if you can believe that but um, it's just on this fantasy setting with the with you know Westeros and so forth so if you're if you're interested in playing uh, Crusader Kings but you kind of are, or, or if you like Game of Thrones or something like that I would really recommend checking this out you know you can play as the Boltons you can play as anyone you want it's really shockingly cool uh, you know and then if you want to get involved in the book you know here's the here's the situation from the show you know here's this guy of the north reach dorn you know here's joffrey the moron everybody you know it's really cool uh so you know i would check it out you know and i'll briefly show a little bit of my game uh just to show you sort of you know what what it's like it, it's fundamentally the same thing so it just they add a lot based on like your culture and your and your uh, religion and stuff like that. So like my guy, he's an Ironborn, so which means he's of the Iron Islands. He's he worships the Drowned God, which is like the Iron Islands religion. Uh, there's also the Faith of the Seven, 
which is sort of the dominant religion, obviously. And then there's these old gods, which are the north, and then there's these beyond the wall. You can play as a wildling, you can play as the Night's Watch and defend against them. Uh, you can also, like, a lot of little situations where you'd want to send your vassals to the Night's Watch. So, you know, just in case I, you know, decide, okay, I don't like my... my I like my second son better. You can just be like, I'm gonna send my son to the Night's Watch or whatever. It's really neat. Uh, so yeah, you'll notice like right now I'm this guy's regent and his guardian and his everything. I have total control of the Iron Islands. And you may ask, well, where are the Greyjoys, which are the traditional um, pit Lord Paramounts? Well, we'll show you exactly what happened to them. Uh, Vicon was the original Greyjoy. He died. He was slain in a personal combat. This guy died, went to the Night's Watch. This guy was murdered by this guy. And then all these other guys were, were uh, killed by me. <laughs> I murdered the rest of them. And this guy was his son through a matrilineal marriage to my daughter. So now House Blacktide rules the Iron Islands. So it's you know you can have a lot of fun little intrigue. It's this this mod actually I would say places a higher premium on intrigue because it's a lot harder to have war um, than it is in the regular game, and that's because it's more difficult to build up your provinces. Uh, there's no technology whatsoever, so you can't actually like get better at anything. You everybody's got the no technology, so everybody's basically equal except for the territories, which are not. So Blacktide, for example, has this large Iron Islands castle. I can never upgrade it to a huge Iron Islands fortress. And, and the same goes with Common Islands castle, etc. Now this place has a huge Iron Islands fortress, so that's kind of the best place, obviously. Old Wick is another really good place here. It's got a large Iron Island castle with four, with four possible cities. But that, that makes it kind of unequal, and so you have to kind of be more intriguey. Uh, so, you know, you're never going to be able to conquer the Reach, for example, as a uh, Iron Islander. You're just not. But you could, potentially, uh, win it through, you know, being tricky. Like, I, you know, I, I basically took over the Iron Islands through trickery, and I plan to instill my family in these high lordships as well, uh, the high lordship of Harlaw, and so forth. So, you know, I, I, you know, if this isn't your thing, don't mind, you know, just whatever, but I, I, I find this, this mod to be extremely interesting, and I, I, I've been following it since it's basically its exception, I thought I'd highlight it briefly just to give you an idea of, like, okay, yeah, you know, not only could I play as Europe, but there's all these other people who are modding the game to make it more realistic or make it more like this book series or you know something like that it's pretty incredible so uh, if you're on the fence about getting Crusader Kings because you're not that interested in like the historic historicity or whatever just bear in mind you know there's lots of these mods and stuff like that uh, I really like the game a lot um, and you know obviously a lot of stuff is different from this mod than it would be in regular life like or not regular life, but in, as canon in the books, like, you know, the Baratheons are now no longer the Lord Paramounts here. They're just, you know, they've become a lot less because they of rebellions and stuff like that. Dorne is pretty safe. I don't know, it's just, it's just, there's a lot of, there's a lot to like about these, this mod and mods like it. So... I just wanted to highlight it and I'll be back with Crusader Kings 2 probably within the next few days. I'm going to, uh, the next the next episode of the main series will be pretty brutal. I'm going to be doing a lot of battling and a lot of wars and stuff like that. So I hope you're, I hope you were ready for a lot more war. Uh, we're on a path that we can't really turn back from. So anyway, I hope that just this was a nice little change of pace for you guys and I'll talk to you later and see you soon uh, so take care